complex of thunderstorms developing across Wisconsin and Illinois. We were on the northern side of it, which is the more stable side. However, it was unstable enough to give us those scattered showers and even a few rumbles of thunder yesterday into the early morning hours this morning. Well, now the heaviest of the moisture indicated by the orange and yellow is now to the east. We've got some light rain, though, that's swung back into the region from Owasso to Flint, seeing some of that near Flushing, also Mount Morris. And then as you head north to Reese and Carroll, even just south of Carroll near Vassar, we are looking at a few light showers this morning. But the heavy stuff that we had overnight that's out of here. That's the thing of the past. We're actually going to a much drier trend for the rest of your day, and we're also going for a fairly mild trend this morning as temperatures are above the average low, which is into the mid 50s. We're actually starting out at 64 now in Burton, 63 in Frankenmuth and Corona. We're at 62 in Auburn, West Branch at 55, one of the cooler spots, but that's actually where we should be this time of year for all of us into the mid 50s. So we're above average this morning, but we'll actually be below the average high later today because we'll hold on to a bit of cloudiness this morning. And then as this area of low pressure slides towards the east. It's bringing in a north and northeasterly component off of Lake Huron, so that's going to help cool temperatures off, especially along the lakefront and in Saginaw Bay. We're looking at temperatures right along the lake at about 55 to 65, while inland will be anywhere from 70 to 75 today. So a little warmer the further inland you are, but look what's out west. Not a lot. We've just got a little bit of cloudiness out there to contend with, so that's why I'm going with mostly cloudy skies this morning, followed by partly cloudy skies with a lot of sunshine expected later today. We could have an isolated shower or two. We'll show you how Futurecast is depicting that here in a second, but notice we've got nothing to talk about for Friday. All this clear area, that's Friday's weather, and we're starting to see the clouds back out towards the west. That's Saturday and Sunday's next system, and that one will bring a better chance for a few showers and thunderstorms Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon, but not enough that you have to cancel plans with that. If you have those outdoor plans, maybe take them to the links, holding out some golf, maybe some baseball. Things looking pretty good for us, but we'll have to watch that system as we get a little bit closer to it. So here's how Futurecast depicts the system moving out, but watch the isolated showers develop later today. I think with daytime heating, it is possible to see a shower or storm. However, the coverage will be nowhere as widespread as it was last night into this morning. And then we clear the skies out tonight. We have clear skies for your Friday. What a great way to start your work week or end the work week. Start your weekend as we go into your Friday and Saturday because look at highs 74 degrees, mostly sunny skies. It's perfect, perfect for this time of year. A little bit below the average, but we get back to average as we go towards Saturday and Sunday upper 70s. That's where we should be. And we also will hold on to that scattered shower and thunderstorm risk. Again, not a widespread threat, so definitely don't cancel your weekend plans. And I'm happy to say, Liz, that none of that activity is expected to be severe. Well